Hello, I'm Glenn, and in this video, we're going to be talking about our Quellstop ablative coating. So the Quellstop ablative coating is supplied in five kilogram tubs, and it is essentially a complementary product uh, used as part of the Quellstop system. So it's used in conjunction with things like the Quellstop Firebat and other products in that system. So the Quellstop ablative coating is used for things like touching up the fire bat once you've installed a bat seal you would use the ablative coating to paint over the face of it so the quellstop fire bat actually already comes with ablative coating applied to it and and dried onto it um, so the ablative coating which is supplied in the tubs is used is the same product essentially and can be used for touching up in some very rare instances with our tested details it is occasionally used for coat back on some services but as i say um, those details are very minimal it's very rarely required in that instance so what we're going to do in this video is just briefly show you um, a demonstration of installing the quail stop ablative coating so um, on this demonstration wall behind me we've got um, a, a double bat seal installed. Um, it is just a, one that we had a bit of a practice on, so it's a, certainly not a, a model installed by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but essentially this is what you'd be, be looking at on site. So you've installed your double bat, installed all the closure devices and whatnot around the various different services you've got. Um, and then you'd be looking to sort of neaten up the seal, paint over the face of it with the quail stop coating. So first and foremost, um, a sort of step that a lot of fire stoppers like to do is use masking tape to um, around the edges of the seal so you get a nice neat finish on it. So we'll just demonstrate that. Um, and a little tip that I was informed of by um, the guys that install our seals at Warrington Fire for our testing is to um, press the masking tape against your clothing whether your trousers or your shirt, just to take some of the tack on off of it. Um, the, the benefit of doing that is when obviously, normally we've got obviously um, acrylic panels on here, but normally when you're applying it directly to plasterboard, taking some of that tack off just by pressing it on your clothes just helps take away um, obviously the adhesive on the, the tape. Make sure that when you peel it back off the plasterboard, it doesn't pull the plasterboard paper with it and leaves it looking nice and neat. So just obviously going to show you a very small section of this today, um, but we'll just apply some masking tape like so. <clears throat> so again, probably not the best example, it's not very neat. You might want to get it a lot more square and whatnot than that on site. Um, but obviously, as I say, this is just a demonstration. So then you would uh, open up your tub of ablative coating. So there we go, we've got it open, your coating inside. Uh, it's quite a thick consistency. Use a paintbrush um, is the best way to apply it. Simply get some on the end of your paintbrush, like so, and apply it to the seal. Um, and as you can see, hopefully, it creates a nice neat finish on the seal. You can obviously square it off, use the masking tape slightly larger than the seal, um, just to essentially touch up the seal and create a nice neat finish. Obviously any areas where the coating has peeled off before, pay particular attention to to make sure that they are thoroughly coated. Um, and that's essentially what it would look like. So you've essentially brightened up the seal, any uh, bits of coating that have come off, any dirty marks, you've potentially got a bit of extra HP sealant smeared on the face of the bat that you don't want there. The ablative coating can be used uh, over the top of all of that and leaves a nice neat finish uh, when you're done. Um, the ablative coating is also used on our Patras bat seals for coating over the heads of any fixings, so the screws and washers, um, that is a requirement in our details. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight into the coating, what it is, what it can be used for um, and how it's installed. If you have got any questions, please do get in touch with our technical team on the details on the screen now.